The universe is absolutely enormous and almost completely unknown to us. New discoveries are proving more and more that life beyond Earth is not only possible, but also very probable. With so much to cover, it's hard picking out the highlights. But these five discoveries that could prove alien life exists are sure to catch your attention. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Viking Lander Results in the 1970s, the US government sent two probes up to Mars in order to collect samples. They were specifically looking for what we consider to be the building blocks of life. We've discovered since then that life is a little more complicated than we previously thought. Back in those days, carbon-based life forms were the only ones we considered, with others thought impossible. Nowadays, we're not so sure, especially with the discovery of bacteria that are able to live off electrons alone, for example, which tossed our foundations right out the window. Still, the Viking landers were a big deal in their day, and they were actually able to tell us a lot about the composition of the surface on Mars, even though we never found quite what we were looking for, which was carbon-based organic molecules. They did, however, find chlorine compounds that were initially thought to be contamination from cleaning supplies. Given all the work that they put into the mission, it's hard to believe that NASA scientists would send up a contaminated container, but not much was thought about it until much later on. A study conducted in 2008 actually found that those organic molecules were in fact included in the sample, but were actually destroyed en route back to Earth by other chemicals, probably those chlorine compounds. That was when a find picked up by the Phoenix Mars leader made them reconsider their initial results. What provoked this was the detection of a chemical that contains chlorine, called perchlorate, on the Martian surface. They figured if Mars had this chemical, proven not to be mere contamination, then it was equally plausible that this was what destroyed the Vikings' original results. After careful study, they found that perchlorate, when mixed with dirt very similar to that found on Mars, released chloromethane and dichloromethane when it came into contact with organic material, which were both present in the initial Viking samples. While this isn't proof of life, it does make the claim much more legitimate as the evidence now suggests that organic molecules are indeed likely to be found on the Red Planet. We're waiting patiently to hear what they've been able to work out since and are still patiently awaiting any further news from the Martian surface. Number 4. International Space Station Find the ISS is still trucking along, helping to solve some of our more pressing questions about life in space and, more specifically, zero-g environments. It's also been accidentally collecting proof that life exists outside our planet. It seems that cosmic space dust has been collecting on the outside of the ISS's windows. After a little wipe down, scientists brought samples back that are thought to contain living creatures related to microorganisms, such as plankton or algae, which is an impressive find. Russian and UK researchers have backed this discovery up and claim that it's incontrovertible proof that alien life has been floating around in the space above us for the entirety of our planet's existence. This isn't the first time that space dust has been used to explain how life may have initially reached our planet with samples collected on a heavy-duty weather balloon being sighted before. As you can expect, we've already covered that story, but this one takes it to new heights, so to speak. The original weather balloon experiment could potentially have been contaminated by particles in our own atmosphere, but the ISS discovery is well out of range of anything Earth-bound at this point and has been for a very long time. After decades in space, we can safely assume that anything hitching a ride into space would have passed away and been shaken loose a long time ago. The initial forces needed to catapult the station out of our atmosphere are also pretty intense. As can be expected, the initial weather balloon discovery caused some hot debate in the scientific community, but this one is sure to garner more favor. The Russian space agency, Roscosmos, has been very vocal about this find, and many scientists around the world are saying that it backs up decades of their own research. The fact that this looks similar to, but is still unlike, anything we've seen on Earth is even more fuel to keep up momentum with regard to these new findings. Number 3. Freaky Microbes 
currently under observation at the University of Southern California, a variety of bacteria has been proven to feed directly off electrical currents. Until recently, this was thought scientifically impossible and is completely contrary to how we view life, period. In 1982, Professor Kenneth Nielsen heard that a lake bed that was supposed to contain large amounts of manganese oxide was actually only found to contain a relatively small amount. It was as if the compound was simply vanishing into thin air, degrading at well over 1,000 times the accepted rate. He assumed that this was caused by bacteria in the lake, but was unable to prove it until much later. Even then, his findings weren't accepted by the greater scientific community. He wasn't deterred and kept at his research. The bacteria he found was named Shiwanella, and he immediately knew it had some very important implications for science in general. The way Nielsen puts it, we receive electrons from the glucose we eat, which is then transferred to the oxygen we breathe. This transfer is essential for life and is the basis for our metabolism. For Shiwanella, this process begins in much the same way. The bacteria receives electrons from carbohydrates, but the way it exhales, if you will, is revolutionary. It basically swims up to the metal oxide and uses it to breathe. Minuscule chemical wires allow the bacteria to move electricity out of their cells, making direct contact with the manganese oxide. In this way, it deposits excess electrons and drives its own metabolism. In layman's terms, these bacteria literally breathe solid substances. After further research, Nielsen found that even more bacteria were able to survive this way, which opened up an entirely new branch of scientific thought. He then found that certain bacteria were attracted to electrodes in some of his gear, and that instead of using them to breathe like the others, some bacteria were literally eating electricity and skipping the middleman. The team has identified 30 of over 1,000 different electricity-guzzling strains of bacteria, six of which thrive off only electrons. These natural processes, once properly understood, could catapult science into a whole new renaissance. This also suggests that life is even more complex and diverse than we once thought. If such unique processes have evolved in this earthbound bacteria, then we could potentially find life in many environments that have previously been considered far too hostile or extreme. Number 2. Kepler's Recent Catalog Editions once again, we're looking to NASA for evidence that life could exist elsewhere in the universe, and they never seem to disappoint us. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope has been searching the heavens non-stop for Earth-like planets that would potentially be capable of sustaining life as we know it. Its most recent mission added a whopping 219 new planets to the total catalog of 4,034 candidates discovered so far. Of that total, there have been around 50 near-Earth-sized planets that sit in their solar system's supposed habitable or Goldilocks zone. Of those 50, 30 have already been verified as exceptionally promising environments. These numbers are pretty impressive considering the vast amount of empty space the telescope had to peer through in order to make its discoveries. This addition of new planets marks the completion of Kepler's study of the Cygnus constellation, allowing it to focus on new systems that may yield even more impressive results. This field of study takes a lot of careful calculations, making these recent discoveries a pivotal moment in the search of the skies for extraterrestrials or even a suitable place to settle off Earth one day. Furthermore, just finding an anomaly is terribly difficult, while calculating what it is exactly is infinitely more so. With such vast distances to cover, any advances in our planet-gazing tech are welcome. Kepler's catalog hopes to keep tabs on a wealth of information, including whether or not planets have a landable surface or important atmospheric oddities and gravitational conditions. This in-depth catalog is going to be incredibly important in the search for alien life, and NASA is sure they'll find proof soon enough. To add some intrigue into NASA's already impressive Kepler update, Anonymous almost simultaneously released a statement saying that NASA will be verifying that they have proof there is life outside our planet without a shadow of a doubt. Many have pointed out that Anonymous' claim is pretty far-fetched and seems to be based mostly on conjecture than actual science. If they do know something we don't, 
then we really hope to be pleasantly surprised soon enough. Number 1. TRAPPIST-1 NEWS While you may be familiar with the news of this solar system's discovery, the sun dubbed TRAPPIST-1 has been under intense scrutiny since then, and NASA very recently made some progress that we felt we should update you on. The initial discovery made headlines, but the new tidbits we now have are even more astounding. By studying the transits of smaller stars close to the larger sun, scientists found that there were actually seven planets orbiting their parent sun, with the kicker being that they're all pretty much perfectly suited for life, at least as far as we can tell. This was worked out through intense observation of 34 separate transits of other objects across the face of the star over the course of the past seven years. These observations, as well as some serious number crunching, were then used to deduce what type of bodies were in relatively close proximity. Since TRAPPIST-1 and all the other stars NASA's looking into are so far away, scientists need to make a lot of inferences and work through a ton of equations to eventually come to these conclusions. They look for warping or bending in their images and other such tells that show a large body is present, if not exactly visible from our vantage point. After crunching more numbers than we could ever imagine, these scientists believe that they're able to accurately estimate the types of conditions found in this cluster of planets. These were actually incredibly favorable and absolutely conductive to life. The size and composition of these planets suggests that they have large oceans covering their surfaces with temperate conditions. Again, that science is a little detailed, so we're not exactly sure what their criteria or calculations were, but we're sure NASA's got that covered. The combination of these has led NASA to believe that they're all capable of supporting life as we know it. They've been quick to assert that this doesn't mean life is necessarily there at this point, but that it would be technically possible. Additionally, since TRAPPIST-1 burns at such a slow rate, it's expected to live on for another 10 trillion years, meaning that the planets could support meaningful life for many generations to come. To put 10 trillion years into perspective, we can point out that it's 700 times longer than the universe has already been in existence by most estimates. So even if there's no life around TRAPPIST-1 now, there's every chance it'll pop up at some point. It's also good to know that there are at least 7 solid planet candidates to jet to in the future if mankind ever wants to reach for the stars. Hope you enjoyed the video folks. If you did, make sure you click that subscribe button before you head out if you're new. It's all you have to do. Come on, just click it. I, I know you want to. Oh, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. I heard it gives you superpowers in the future or something. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.